What's up, guys? It's Crud Frog here. Today, showing you how to get the Sword of Night and Flame right away. First things first, we're going to start as an astrologer. So I'm going to name my guy Night Flame because it kind of sounds like a superhero name. And the sword is called the Sword of Night and Flame. And we're going to be wielding it. So we're going to be Night Flame. For our starting gift, we're going to get the Lands Between Rune. The man known only as Night Flame. Strikes in the dark. Night Flame! Oh man, last thing I remember, I was drinking peanut butter whiskey, and then some big guy threw me down and kicked the crap out of me. Now I feel like I've been hit by a train. Okay guys, if you've seen my videos before, specifically my Right Away Elden Ring series videos, you know that in some of them we tend and in this one included, we're going to get the stats required to wield the weapon first. Now the good news is it doesn't take long. Okay guys, so let's go do it. We're gonna run past this ugly son of a shit. Actually veer left and run up to the Church of Ele. Okay guys, we've come to the Church of Ele. You see the nice merchant man over there, okay? What we want to do is crack our lands between rune. Just so we can get some money, all right? 3,000 bucks out of nowhere. Okay, so from this guy, we want to buy a mother of torch, okay? And that's about it. Now, onward and upward to get Torrent the Horse. We're gonna go get the map fragment, and then we're gonna get the, uh, obviously, Torrent the Horse. I like to curl around the left, because then you kind of minimize the, uh, you know, attraction of the enemies. Okay, I've got that map fragment. Now I'm heading north, or west, and they're blowing on a horn, you know, that that's how you know it's bad. We're getting the horse. And again, the neighborhood's after us. They know that night flame's in town, and they want a piece of the fire, baby! I stood and stared into the flame, and I realized it contained my soul as a whole. And a beautiful maiden appeared at my side. She was to slip the Elden Ring over my cock. Guys, after I get Torrent, I like to advance time till noon. Just so that we're going on this journey in the daytime. Okay, guys, from the gate front here, we want to look at our map. And we are going to be traveling to the Death-Touched Catacombs. They are around here. We want to get the Uchigatana, and that's where they are. So, up to the west we go. Grab the Golden Seed. Up Storm Hill we go to the north. Okay, guys, I like to grab this side of Grace. Okay. I like to rest at it to de-aggro the wolves. Now we're going to kind of cut east to head to these death cutched cat. And if you want to, guys, on the way, you can grab the Sight of Grace at this place. There's a man inside of there. Okay? He has just taken Xlax, and he's about to, you know what, in the toilet. Uh, it's... All right. We're at the Warmaster Shack, so just head to that marker, guys. There's a dirt path that leads basically straight to it, and then if you cut through this little camp here. All right, guys, so on this path, We'll kind of come up this way. And these Death Touch Catacombs are going to be kind of tucked in a little bit here. So let me show you where I am on the map. Okay, guys, this is where we are on the map. So that's where I put the marker. We're right here. Open those doors. Grab that sexy sight of grace. And now, guys, we're heading down into the catacombs to get the Uchi Katana. Don't worry, it's not that big of a journey. We're veering left. Careful, those some boneheads that'll come awake. We're coming down the steps, we're turning right around, darting over here. And then we're up, then we're taking a left. We are now on a balcony. We now have the bleed weapon known as the Uchi Gatana. A great weapon all around, but an extremely great weapon for early game. So now we gotta get the fuck out of here and I don't remember how to get out. All right, guys, so just go up the steps, come out the way we came. We exit the catacombs, and we immediately equip our Uchi Gatana. Oh, my God. We can't wield it. We don't have the stats. Well, guys, this is a crud frog guide, and crud frog's never going to do you wrong. Unless there's money in it for him. And uh, so the good news is we're going to be able to wield this thing. Okay? Let's warp back to the gate front. Sight of amazing grace. Folks, we are now heading from the Gatefront Site of Grace to this fork in the road, guys, okay? It's time for peanut butter pie, so get those forks out because we're going to the fork. Guys, we've come to the fork in the road. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work... Well, we're going to do this. We're in this together. We're going to go and get this piece of the map 
so we can easily see what we're doing. Ah, what am I doing? I'm not want to be on the horse. So let's go cut through Mistwood, aka Bearville. A lot of grizzly bears, guys. And we are on the menu, so we want to not wake them up. Look, these bears are all angry just because they stuck their thing inside of Winnie the Pooh's honey pot. And then it... I don't know where I was going with that. Alright. So we've come here to get the piece of the map. We grab it. Listen to that. Oh my god, we're seconds away from a mauling, dude. Okay. We've gotten the Limgrave East piece of the map. We're coming up here to the Church of Merica. I feel the holy light enter my bones. And all of a sudden, everything is fine. Just because I went to church, everything's forgiven. I can still listen to Slipknot and fuck how all day. When we come to the church, I like to grab the sacred tear to beef up my Estus flask. It's not going to hurt anything. And I also like to grab the flask of wondrous physic. You'd be a fool not to. Guys, we are heading. You see this babe up here? Well, that's blasphemy. Don't say that. We're coming to her left. And then we're going out back in her backyard and sticking our hand inside of this weird hole here. It's going to take us to our destiny. Ah, yes. Gray Ole's Dragon Barrow. So we're at this place, guys. We're going to turn around and see this freaking asshole. He's not friendly. Don't talk to him. Go down the hill. On the way, there's a beautiful golden seed. I'd grab it if I were you. Okay, guys, I'd like to grab this side of grace at the bottom of the natural path here. Okay. We've been heading south down this path. Here's where I am on the map for some reference at the Ferum, or Ferum, whatever the hell, Great Bridge. We're heading past this big uh, frickin' uh, dragon. Don't worry about it, it's not gonna hurt you. Guys, we're heading this way. I don't even, where's my compass? Oh, it's not there, because the boss fight bar. You know, as you keep going to the path, guys, there is a Erd tree. Let me go on our map. This is where I am right now, a minor Erd tree. We're heading southwest. We just want to curl behind the minor Erd tree, okay? Care for the putrid avatar. It smells like chicken crap. Come up the spirit spring. Woohoo! I feel lucky. And then we're heading up to Fort Faroth, the scary tower filled with nutball bats. So, guys, it's time that I admit something to you. I gotta tell you why we're here, okay? You see this sleeping son of a gun down here, this dragon? We're taking him out. And what we're doing is we're using this Uchi Katana to do it. Now, you notice we don't have the stats to wield the sword. That means the damage is going to suck eggs through a straw. So we're going into Fort Faroth to get an OP talisman, especially for early game, known as Radagon Sword Seal, guys. And if you don't know about it, it gives you 20 free levels, essentially. It gives you plus 5 vigor, plus 5 endurance, plus 5 strength, plus 5 dexterity, I believe. So... Let's take out our torch. That's why we bought it, guys. It wasn't for nothing, okay? Head up the steps. Oh, it's scary in there. I'm gonna hold L1 to pull my torch up. There's all these bats everywhere, okay? But now we can see them. And this lady is the matriarch of the bat family. Get the hell up the ladder before they poison you. Dude, that's the first time I've done this without getting poised. Oh, my God. As we get to the top of the ladder, might as well grab this. It's not part of this, but you'll need it later. Dectus medallion, right half. Jump down here. Curl to the right, guys. We're kind of curling around all this. Jump down that beautiful black hole. Okay. Turn around. Careful. There's a rat here. And there's a bunch of nutcase bats. We're going to jump across this. Okay. We are going to be careful for these rats. Jump down the hole, turn around, and grab this amazing talisman. Now, exit game. Now, the reason I exited game is because it de-aggers all the enemies. Now it can warp back outside, and we don't have to go back up the ladder. Guys, here's where the fun starts. Here's where Night Flame can get his wings, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Equip the Radagon Source Seal Talisman. Dude, 20 extra levels, essentially, into our stats, man. So good, especially when we're picking a class that's not like a strength and dex class. And we're heading down the hill, and son of a bitch, they, I forgot one of the steps, guys. We want a gold-pickled foul foot. Now, this gold-pickled foul foot isn't necessary, quote-unquote, but it gives us so many more runes that we have to do it, dude. 
We're back to the first step. Listen, I'm sorry, I forgot, okay, guys? We're back at the first step. Let me show you where we're going. This doesn't take that long, okay? I know it's annoying, but it's gonna, gonna give us way more runes, and it's gonna give us more levels so we can wield this sexy sword. Oh, my God, this game has never looked so beautiful. I don't need suntan lotion, for I am fire itself. And this is my donkey, Big Bertha. Guys, we're heading down to the beach. Okay, the beachfront, we see here, we're kind of heading like southwest. Come down here, maybe like more eastern. But anyway, you see, it's the beachfront. Let me show you where we are on the map right now. You know, right here, down at the beach. First step for reference. We're heading to this end of the beach, the eastern end, to grab that gold pickled foul foot. Careful, there's some chumps around here who, look, who are looking to mess up our day, but they don't know they're messing with Night Flame. The biggest, best superhero swordsman around. Okay, now I'm out of their range. I'm just going to kind of warp back to our Fort Faroth Sight of Grace. And now we put our gold pickled foul foot on our tool belt and head down to this slumbering beast. Guys, if you're unfamiliar with this, we're killing this dragon, and the only way to kill it in like a decent time frame is to bleed proc it a bunch of times. That's why we got the bleed weapon. So we basically sit here and hack at the dragon until it finally dies when a bunch of chunks come out of its health. And then it gives us a crap load of runes, especially for early game. So guys, you're gonna be taking big old chunks out of his health every like 20 or so slashes. You see that? Oh my god, devastating damage. And guys, when you get this dragon down to about a sliver of health, or enough that you know that you're gonna kill it within like, you know, three minutes, you wanna crack your pickled foul foot. Okay guys, so I've gotten him down to a sliver of health at this point. So I'm going to crack our pickled foul foot and keep hacking. And eventually this big beast will perish at the hands of the Night and Flame hero. And look at this, guys. I want you to watch my frickin' rune bar right now, man. Dragon has died. We go from 2,800 runes to... Huh? 67,000... Oh, my God! 99,444 runes. Now, if you grab the gold rune 12 that was upstairs in this fort, we're now over 100k. You don't need to do that, I don't think. Well, I didn't do the math, but go in and do it if you feel if you feel up to it. Okay, guys, let's take a look at our stats with this talisman on, with Radagon Sword Seal. The things we're worried about is pumping our intelligence and faith. Now, this sword requires 12 strength, check. 12 dex, check. 24 intelligence, not yet. 24 faith, not yet. But we'll be able to easily get those levels. Now, this maiden is going to ask you... You know, to consensually come back and, you know, do something, whatever you want to do. You can say no or you can go. Okay, it's up to you. I'm not going. I'm going to hang out with the boys. All right, guys, we're leveling up our intelligence to 24 and we're leveling our faith to 24. Now, how many levels do we have left? Oh, we can still pump a bunch. I'm going to pump into Vigor. I'm doing 14 into Vigor because Mind is at a pretty good level. Especially if you want to use the weapon art for this sword. I think that's pretty good. Putting that into Vigor, that 14. Not too shabby. It is now time to get the blade. Guys, we're warping back to the gate front side of Grace. We want to get our hands on that sexy sword. All right, guys, we're at gate front. I forgot. We got the Stormhill Shack side of Grace already. Go up to Stormhill Shack, Sight of Grace, because it's further up. That's the direction we're going. From the Stormhill Grace, we are heading north, guys. We're going to end up going under the bridge that's at the top of the hill. And we pass under the bridge, guys. We're heading along this kind of cracked up stone path. We see a lot of ominous statues. One of them headless. It's Ichabod Crane. We want to hurt the old lady because we don't like her. She's not contributing to society. Veer left at the broken bridge. She's the one who did it. We're going to blame her for everything. Okay, we're heading up this little area, guys. Veer right. And up the passageway, we pass some dogs. Sleeping after eating ten cans of Alpo. Another pack of dogs. Must be nice not having to work all day, huh? You can just lay around. Okay, guys. We come to the... When you see this, the early uh, Liller of the Lakes title. Lerner of the Lakes. We're going to kind of skim on this side of the mountain till we see these tombstones. Now, if you want to go forward and grab the Sight of Grace ahead, do that. 
Um, but otherwise, we're just gonna scale down here. Basically, grab the side of Grace if you're worried about dying coming down here, but it's not too hard. That'd be funny if I died. Now we're heading north, guys. On to another cobble path, okay? Kind of a northwestern approach. We see some Resident Evil zombies up here carrying torches. We want to squeeze between these rocks. Grab this site of grace. Oh, it's burning my nether regions, but I am Night Flame. I am attracted to the heat. So, we are on the Liurnia Highway south side of grace. We're now going to be veering off this way into Liurnia the lakes. First, we want to grab the map portion. So it is there. Let's go down the hill. Ow! There's some nutballs guarding the map. So careful for that. A lot of weird enemies around here. Okay, guys, this is where we are on the map. Now, I was going to just head this way because this is where the way we're going. But I think to do this quicker, and this is what I usually do on, in these uh, right away guides, is I'm going to warp back to the Leonia Highway south side of Grace. From that highway south side of Grace, we're heading northwest to go to a teleportation um, freaking teleporter. And we're kind of cutting through the purified ruins here, guys, to the northwest. As soon as you see that kind of ridge up here, and that, um, broken skull crap, bull crap. Come over here, and we want to stick our hand into this beautiful teleportation device. Where is it going to take us? I don't know. I'm so excited. Maybe it'll be Narnia. Maybe it'll be Air, um, the place from Lord of the Rings. No, it's Liarnia of the Lakes. Come up north. Get the sight of grace, guys. And so, uh, for reference, we are right here on the map. Guys, I want to get the map piece before we do this, just to make it easier to uh, tell you where to go and stuff. So, I've marked it down here. You can kind of see it in these mists. Let's get the hell down there. I think there's a little shortcut. What we can do here is cut left at the bottom of this little bridge area. Take a sharp left turn to the left. And then we see over here. Oh, wow. There's a nice roof over there. And there's a guy. Let's get the hell away from him and do this. Boom, baby, Academy Gate Town. Now we're just heading towards our mark. Oh my god, it's a golden seed! Grab it, you'd be a frickin' fool not to. Whoa, dude, nice. It's some pandas with some weird swords. Aw, oh, it's the map piece! Thank Jesus and America! Here we go with the map, guys. Map Liurnia North. Check it out. And it doesn't even give me the goddamn region that we're going to. Oh. Ish. Well, it helps a little bit, and at least we've opened this map up here. Guys, go back to the South Raya Lucaria Gate. I thought it was going to open up more of the map. We're up at the South Raya Lucaria Gate, side of Grace, guys. I'm going to come down here with Torrent, do a little double jump a, a la Mario, Super Mario 64. Okay? And now we are heading west. And keep heading west. And keep heading west. And now we see this beautiful crevasse under these rocks cut under it. And you guessed it, keep heading west. Whoa, guys. Careful for people who don't like bugs. There's a bunch of big ones around here. Keep heading west, guys. And now I've headed northwest for a while. I'm now here on the map, okay? I'm hearing a praying bat. That's... You never thought you'd hear that in a sentence. Now we're coming up this way, guys. We're gonna keep going northwest, and then we're gonna kind of cut right soon. Ah, beautiful. A sight of grace, baby. It's almost like... You know, it was sent from the gods. America is smiling down at Crudfrog making his guide video. And Crudfrog only, no one else. All right, we're at the foot of the four belfries, guys. From this point, we are just heading north. I see faintly another piece of the map. That's kind of our soft target up there, guys. So, you know, hit towards that, man. I'm going to stay on this little dirt road. We see some red angry jellyfish up here. I didn't do anything. I don't know why they're angry at me. Head through this encampment, okay? These guys are a bunch of chumps. They got their dogs, and I feel bad for their dogs, okay? Past these stupid giants. I'm going under his butt. It's fine. He, his nuts hit me in the head. All right, guys. On the map, I am now right here. Okay. This is where this is where we're looking at. And we're heading up to the map piece. Oh, another sight of grace! And the, now this is where the fun has, starts. And this is where I can actually show you where we're going. Thank God, I was about to lose hope. We're heading up to Caria Manor up the hill, guys. So a little bit of instruction here, guys. There's going to be some ruins here, the King's Realm ruins. Run straight through on the horse. There's some guys that are like half invisible. They haven't committed fully to the invisible thing yet. <laughs> okay, what a bunch of chumps. Hit this illusory wall, and you will now see a big son of a bitch. He's reading. 
a graphic, you know, romance novel with um, intense descriptions that rival novels such as Fifty Shapes of Grey. Gray, Fifty Shades of Grey. All right, guys, we have we have gotten the sight of Grace. Karia, Karia, Karian Manor is right up the frickin' road, guys. You can talk to him if you want, guys, but he's deep in, in his sexual novel, so I wouldn't bother him. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, yeah, care for these, um... <laughs> you know, like these stupid little things coming out of the sky. I don't know who's doing it. It's probably the, uh, guys. Just, they're... Oh! It's a bunch of seniors in high school. They're doing their senior prank right now, and they think it's real funny to be... Messing up our Sword of Night and Flame quest! Stop! Okay, we're up at Caria Manor. We're getting the Sight of Grace, guys. Unfortunately, from here forth, we cannot use the horse. Hey guys, straight away, we're gonna cut left here, okay? There's some kind of... a little bit of upper level enemies here at this point. But you know, the kind of cool thing is, we did that whole leveling thing. So it's not that much to worry about. So, we're headed... Whoa! Careful for these hands, guys. These hands have been watching a lot of, uh, websites of ill repute, if you know what I mean, and they're ready to do their due diligence. Okay, so we've headed, kind of stayed to the left there, and now we're over here, we're seeing a bunch of hands, and we're seeing a staircase. Ignore the hands, come up the staircase, guys. Beautiful, we've reached a civil house, finally. We're going up the steps. And we've come to a very beautiful site of grace. Get that site of grace! On the map, for reference, we are now at the manor lower level, Side of Grace. Okay, guys, up until this point, it's been child's play. But we are now going on the walkway of hell. Come out here, guys. Come along the walkway. We're going to be sprinting because there's some ghosts that are going to pop up. Ghosts of uh, Christmas past, guys. Okay. I'm curling left. Then I'm curling right. And now we come to a place on one of these walkways where there's a building below us. Jump off that walkway onto the building. Okay, so now we are on this top of this building, guys. We're heading north. We're heading on top of another little building down here. Boom. Okay. Get this on this ladder. We're going to descend. Don't be distracted by the uh, noises of the bug with the big butt that you hit and get the good stuff from. We've come down the stairs, and oh my god, is this our weapon? Don't tell me that we're finally here. Oh my god. <gasps> it's the sword of night and flame. Put it on, baby. Try it on for size. Looks like it primarily scales with faith and intelligence. I mean, obviously, that's the most, you know, intensive stats that it needed, I guess. This is the Sword of Night and Flame, guys. Give yourself a pat on the back, okay? Buy yourself a jewel and eight jewel pods to celebrate. Press L2, and then R1! Boom! And it's almost like Comet Azure in a can, baby. L2 and R1. Boom! Let's try another one, guys. L2 and R2. How about that? Whoa! And that is what we were meant to come to this realm for, was the Sword of Night and Flame. We are Night Flame, wielding the blade of our destiny, guys. Guys, this is a great sword to have right away. Um, weapon art is great. It's got the best of both worlds there. Okay. So, guys, at this point, you are now... You now obtain the sword. You have the stats to wield it. We haven't fought anything at all, so go out there and kick the ish out of anything and everything with this amazing sword and claim that Elden Ring for your own. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all you guys. Go out, check it out some of my other uh, Elden Ring right away weapon guides videos. And other than that, we will see you. That's Night Flame and Crud Frog signing off for another video. And we're out of frickin' FP. I'm not the one who's so far away when I wield the sword of night and flame.